Hi guys, welcome back to Stay True TV. So we're back for another video on the house renovation. Today we're going to be focusing on getting the floors down, hopefully getting some tiles down. So let's get into it. First thing we're going to take care of is we're going to cut the profiles into this board so we can nail the board down. This is the concrete underlay that's going to go on all the way up the up the flooring so that the tiles have something firm to connect onto. Alright guys, so we've gone and got all the floor down, it's looking fantastic. Dara's going to come back tomorrow and she's going to finish nailing it all down while I'm having a sleep. I've got a night shift tonight, so we've come here to try and get this part down so tomorrow we can start laying some tiles down. Just cut the first tile at the door so it's around the surround on that side. Had to trim it around, but this side here, that once we get that light switch disconnected from there, then wires are going to be no longer and we're going to put a new piece of door trim on there so that's not too much of a fuss, that one will just nail down on top of it. It's all looking fantastic so far, so tomorrow when we get back we should be able to start slapping these tiles down. We'll get one whole row down here and we'll probably leave them there to dry overnight so then we've got a solid estate to link onto and it'll come like a Tetris. Down here you might have noticed that we've gone and staggered all the concrete underlay. So when we did the first room in the bedroom up here, we went and laid them all next to each other. And when we went to the tiles shop, we were talking to the guy there that sells the tiling and stuff. And he said, don't do that. He said it can cause a weak spot. So he said, best way is to stagger it. So that's what we've gone and done up here. Staggered it all out. Looking forward to seeing the floor down. Should look really good once it's done. So on that note, we'll catch you tomorrow. Guys, it's the next day, out here ready to start. Just gone and started sizing up some tiles. We're gonna try and get all the tiles laid out on the floor before we start putting the glue down and sticking them down. All right, so we've just gone and laid them out roughly where we want them so far. Now I'm just debating whether we bring some concrete underlay into this room here so we can go the full lengths into here or do I just 
glue them down and put some mock-up parts in between just so we've got the spacing correct so when we're ready to come into this room we can just join it along but at least this way we can continue on up the hallway with all the tiles. All right guys, so we've gone ahead and put all the, put the two pieces of underlay through the doorway so we can go and feed the length through as we come. So, all looking pretty good now. What we're gonna do is we're gonna go and remove all these tiles and I'm gonna put a nail in that side and a nail in this side and we'll get a chalk line going straight down the middle and that'll give us something to run these tiles to when we start gluing. This is taking a little bit more time than I expected might go ahead and just cut them little bits and pieces for the side tiles that are remaining so tomorrow when we get here we can start gluing this section down and get it all looking sweet. small parts in where we need them. The only other thing I'm thinking I might do is when I cut this piece of underlay I probably should have come a little bit further so then that way when I'm laying it I can lay the parts through the door and know that that's all going to be sitting straight ready to go so I'm actually considering just cutting another piece of underlay just to stick here so we can get this tile on as well. Wish I thought about it a little bit earlier but it's what it is. I had to cut it separate so we could stagger the panels ready for the next when we start in this room but either way it's still going to be, be staggered so we'll go ahead and just cut a little section put it in start mixing some glue up all right we've just going to lay another full underlay we've got the tile there now we can actually have that full section between the doors set out one last thing we're going to go and do now is just finish marking them all so I've numbered the ones that we already had in. So we'll finish marking all the little ones and the added on bits that we've gone and done. So I know exactly where they're going when we go and glue, put the glue down, put them back in, just like a jigsaw puzzle. Should slip together quite nicely. Should be fantastic. And the whole idea of having this whole section glued in is one. So the first thing you see is schmick on. But then once that all dries, then it's just a matter of joining it all together like a Tetris blocks and it should stay straight the whole way down the rest of the hallway because we've got this part, this part here perfect. 
Fingers crossed that's the way it works anyway. We've gone ahead and we've laid all the tiles from 1 to 12 all the way up so when we start tomorrow we can just come put the glue down go one get that down spaces two three four i want to show you these all right so we've got these our boy vic from beaumont tiles in wyala hooked us up with these they're a new thing now instead of using the cross spaces these are what you use and they kind of slide in under and once they're in position and all glues in you put these on top screw them down and what it does is self levels the tiles so you're supposed to get a really good finish looking forward to trying them out and seeing what they're like stay tuned all right guys so we're back at the house we're going to get straight into this to try and get this part knocked out today so the plan is to try and get all the tiles that i've pre-cut in this main entrance way so tomorrow when i come back we'll be able to just continue on up the hallway these will be like a backbone First thing we're going to do though is going to go and get a damp cloth and just give this flooring a bit of a wipe over, just get rid of any of the dust and stuff like that, and we can start getting into it. So we've gone and got the whole entrance way done now. Had to cut a little slice for the back section there. The tiles didn't quite come enough and I didn't want to leave a big gap that comes out from underneath the skirting board. So she's looking pretty good right now. So we're going to leave that now, let that dry. And then that way we've got a base. So as we're going up the whole way, we'll be able to just slot them in and hopefully follow suit all the way up the hallway. All right, so we've still got a fair bit of glue left, so what we've done is we've come through here where we put the underlay down already. Now, when I was talking to Vic at Beaumont Tiles, we were talking about the underlay and he said I had to stagger it. We'd already laid this section of floor, so what he said to do was just chuck some glue over the top like a render and let it dry overnight before we go and put the tiles on. So what we're gonna do, well, we've got some spare glue, is go ahead and just render all the joints up with this glue. Alright, so we've gone ahead, we've just laid a layer over, I just let it dry over a bit, and then I've just gone over it and scraped it so there's no high bits. So it's all sitting flush, all the rubber, all the joining glue is in the grip in the gaps. So when we come to the toll in this room we should be good to go. Guys back again. Hopefully get this whole way all sorted out. I've just gone and bought all the tiles and the glue up into this back bedroom so we can work our way back and uh, well, I'm gonna have to step over them, I guess, to get back out of here, but just have to go lightly. Got that where we left off yesterday. 
I've just gone and marked all the bottom of the door trims. Now we're going to get trim them out so the tiles can slide under them nice and tidy. Let's get into it. Okay, so we've gone and made a mistake. This one here has gone in. And I don't know if it's got a bit of a bowl or not, but because the glue's set, it's not allowing this tile to come in. This one's got a bit of a gap, so... I did try carving a bit of bit of meat off of one of these to try and fit it, but it just doesn't look right. So I'm going to pull this one out and put another one in, in its place and hopefully it resets it all and allows us to be good for the next lot of go. mistake worth noting so we've gone and pulled that out luckily enough I did manage to get it out without cracking the tile pulled off all the glue I've just got to clean the glue off the back of the other tile and we can reuse that I was a bit worried after that one that this one here was going to be the same so I just went and grabbed that scrap piece of tile then and just run it through undone the plugs and run it through and that one seems all right so it's just this one here so fingers crossed we'll go and clean up this mess Run the, new, run the other tile back in there and see if we can line the other two tiles up all good. Fingers crossed we don't need to take that last tile out there for an issue. See how we go. Thank goodness for that. So we're back on track. That one tile was causing the trouble as it went a little bit to one side, so we've just gone pulled it up, I've put the spaces between it, we've set the other two per side, so we should be good to keep going. In the morning when I come back, I'll get these two glued down, but I'll also fix, cut out all the little sections around so we can go and fix all them and start leaning on into that bedroom there. So it's looking pretty cool. Did learn my lesson from yesterday's mistake. So I've put these in there so the other two, all the other, the other three tiles will dry and we know we can just undo them lugs, pull the tiles up, Put the glue on and we know they're going to fit not like this morning having a pure tile up and just put us back a little bit more than what we wanted to do it's taking a little bit of time i don't know a proper tile i'd probably do it in no time at all but hey this is all about learning and learning takes a bit of time it is what it is we're getting there and down though slow and steady wins the race for now we'll catch you tomorrow Can't go back the whole way because we're covered in wet tiles and we don't want to be stepping on them things. So before we started, we went and wedged our window shutter up. Gave it a heap of slack. We're going to climb on through all that piece of wood and hopefully lower it nicely. That's how we go. Next day, what we're going to focus on today is trying to get the transition of the tiles from the hallway into this bedroom. So we're going to have to go and cut some profiles, some tiles out and start stepping sideways into this room here. I did just notice that last night when I finished up I didn't put any pegs in, levelling pegs into the side of the, 
the tiles that I left to dry. Should be alright, I should be able to, I'll we'll just have to scrape a bit of the adhesive out from underneath and so I can push them under. So when we bring the next tile in, we can level it all up, should be sweet. Let's go ahead and cut some tiles, get the profile ready and start stepping them in. Alright guys, so what I've gone and done is I've just gone and put another piece of concrete underlay into this room, just wrapping around the doorway. I only used one of the offcuts that I had so I could just get this bit of extra length as we've still got a fair bit of work to do in this room before we get to this one. It's probably one of the last rooms to do. But I wanted to have the straight line coming through with the tiles. So now what we've got is a backbone here to work off, to work that way with our stencils. So I know we've got a tile that's going to come through here to about here somewhere. So we've got to trim that around but I'll be able to put that in as a decoy, to test it out then work our way back through the door and get our profiles. All right, so we've just gone and chucked this tile in here. We've cut it out, but we just need to take a snick more off the back edge here because we're not quite closing that gap up to what the spacer is. But other than that, that's looking pretty good so far. We continue on, get this cut out, put it back in, and we can start working in the way. All right, so check this out. I've just gone and made this cardboard cut out for this tile between the door. And man oh man, I don't know if you can see it or not, but there is a huge angle on both sides of this. That one's better, a bit better to see. It kind of kicks from there and kicks outwards at both sides. So this is gonna be interesting to fit. I may have to just go without the off cuts that's gonna go under the skirts and just press it in from here and hope that everything looks nice from the other side. See how we go. So we've just gone ahead and I've just cut little pieces that we needed to to make the leveling right correctly coming through the line. Then I've with the full pieces, I've gone and marked the halfway mark just to make sure our joints come to the same spot, same as we did at the front door. Now I'm just slowly putting all the bits and pieces over here. We'll go start mixing some glue. Start getting them down first, and then we'll continue on with the full pieces through the rest of the room. What's left over at the end is going to be off-cut sizes. We're just going to come back tomorrow. We're going to do them tomorrow, along with what in this workplace here that I'm trying to utilise. It's probably the hardest part of the job actually, working out where to work from to lay these things without having to step on them all the time. run back through the house and grab them off. We've got about half the room done. I know how to paint these things up, put them down, so I spent an hour this morning machining up a tool. Get these things off. Let's go chuck in the drill and see how it works. Finish cutting our tiles, the rest of the tiles that we need, the knot sizes. Start back in this room, get this floor finished. Right, so we've just gone ahead and cut all the tiles to size, so we've got them all ready to go. The rest are all full size, 
full size tiles that we require. We're just going to go mix some glue and get this floor down. Alright guys, we're back for another day. All the floors being scraped out, ready for some grouting. So that's what we're going to take care of today. We've got some great grout mixed up, ready to go. Go grab it, start grouting in. Alright guys, so we've gone ahead, done the grouting in the bedroom there, we've still got it out in the hallway here to do, a little bit messy, but I spent all morning getting all these little bits, so we put a bit in there where the cupboard's going to go, but these little trims here, they were a complete and utter pain in the butt, so just the real small ones, gone ahead and fitted all them, they were not easy. Every time I was cutting the small strips, kept cracking a few attempts at each. But we got it in the end, it's looking not too bad now. Once it goes on, most of it's covered by skirting board anyway, it would only be a couple of mil showing, but we just didn't want that couple of mil too much grout showing either. So it's come along good. I'm not going to go and start pulling the pegs and stuff today though, because I don't know if they're quite set enough to start grouting in here so what we'll do is we'll come back tomorrow pull the pegs clean the joints get everything ready and start just grouting through here get this place done that'll be it all right guys so we're back straight into it just gone and cleaned out all the grooves in this floor again make sure that and there's no overhanging glue or tabs hanging out so we've just gone and done that giving it a quick vacuum over we're going to go mix up some more grout get this whole way Grab it out. Alright, so we are finished with the grouting in the hallway and in the bedroom. Looking fantastic. All ready to be polished up. Get the side skirts on. And these rooms are pretty much complete. Still got the cupboard and stuff to go in the hallway here. Get that room, that door blocked off. We're going to get someone around to put some hangers up in the roof so we can knock the bathroom wall down, open that up before we go and block this one in obviously, pin it and think it's cold. Once that's done we can go and box that in and start getting this cupboard built. Once we get all the side skirts and stuff on, it should be sweet. But for this video we're going to call it quits. Don't forget we're on Facebook, Stay True TV. 
also on Instagram if you want to give us a follow. If you're enjoying the content that we're putting out, don't forget to give us a like, subscribe, and set your notifications for upcoming videos. We thank you for your love and support. Stay safe. We'll catch you next time.